Gonna change the Oh, is it Friday? Ooh. Might be. I think it's Friday today. It might be Friday. Man, Friday's the best day of the week. Or day of the strong. And heal the sick. We're going to start things off differently today. We're going to do most Canadian first. Oh. We're going to do most Canadian first. And I just yeah. want to say one thing. Mm-hmm. I've this week I came up with a new term. Mm-hmm. You know how we call it a weekday. Yeah. Why are we saying week so much? It's so weak. It's such a weak thing. A what weak about day? a strong day? Strong, strong day. day. Strong day. Days of the strong instead of days uh, of the week. Days of the strong. And this weekend, I no, like that. This strong, strong end. Strong they end. Have, they have programmed us mm. to say week. We're being a help. Help. We're being oppressed. <laughs> strong end. Yo, what are you guys doing this strong end? Yeah, yeah. Strong, how tough eh? is that? On the strong day, I'm spreading that to the world. Hey, next, like that. next strong days end. of the strong. Uh. Yo, what day of the strong is it? Oh, that's Monday, elite. Friday. Strong. Yeah, that's t- insanely reprogram your brains right now with that. It's so true. Are Are you having a good weekday? <laughs> yeah, no. how insane is that? I'm not having a good weekday. I'm having a good strong day. That's crazy. Yeah. I just wanted to share that with everybody. That's Thank something you. I'm reprogramming. I don't live for the weekend now. I live for the, the strong, strong end. end. Yeah. How hard is that, bro? <laughs> That's actually dope, mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy? Everybody's yeah. living. Like, I might have just, like, tapped end. into. got to rewrite every song in history The now. Matrix. Like, I just, like, broke the Matrix with that. Yeah. You just did. I feel like you just shattered a wrinkle in the window over there. I can see through to the. Bro, it's. You know what? Binary. Strong Ch- end. Chippy, if you don't show up to next week's pod, I'm going to know why. The Illuminati got gotcha, you. Right? Yeah. This is yeah. dangerous what you're you're playing no, with. I'm like, fire, that's man. insane. You're I actually d- think I cracked like a you r- like we all are programmed to say that word. We've been being oh. oppressed by the ourselves elite by, by saying by the one percent programmed. We've programmed a secret society weakness into our brain. They program literally weak into our brains mm-hmm. and like that's just something our days are weak. No, my day is strong. Day is strong. I love it. Just like my body, just like my health. Speaking about bodily health. Let's get into the everyone, most Canadian. Everyone needs a, a strong uh, start to their day. Oh, yeah. We're going to go with, for the most Canadian, we're doing most Canadian mm-hmm. breakfast foods. Oh, yeah. Is that the draft? No. Or, oh, we're going to go most Canadian breakfast foods. Let's do it. I thought that was the draft. No. I thought it was the draft. I thought it was the draft. That's, okay, most Canadian breakfast food. I thought we were doing the most Canadian uh, routine, morning routine. Okay, well, I guess your breakfast food could be part of the morning routine. Yes, exactly. Do you want to go with most Canadian? I'll start. All right, let's do most Canadian morning routine. Okay, most Canadian. And then what's the draft? We'll do the breakfast food. Yeah, most okay. Can- okay. We'll okay. do what Jared thought we were yeah. doing. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Most Canadian morning routine has yeah. to be starting up, like waking up at about, you know, let's just say 7, 30, 8. Mm-hmm. Rising, probably got to work. You know, Specifically it's in Canada, you got to work, probably. Yep. So it's probably waking up and then maybe... Let's go downstairs and cook some breakfast. And what are we going to have for breakfast? Probably some eggs, bacon, probably some maple syrup on the bacon because that's dynamite. Maybe a little bit of toast, Mm -hmm. I would say. is probably pretty Canadian. Um, And then after that, you're probably, what, getting in the car, driving to work. Mm -hmm. That's Sounds pretty Canadian to me. It sounds like most people's days this morning. But I will say, probably not. The bacon, eggs, and for a lot of people, for a lot if, of people, it's probably before work, zero it's, food. It's probably like <laughs> if I'm going to be zero completely honest, food. it's probably you're probably waking up too late. If if it's Canadian, <laughs> if it's Canadian, you couldn't Should afford. Should we just change this whole no, routine? Oh, no, because if we're talking about the most Canadian, you couldn't afford your groceries because they're so expensive. <laughs> yeah. So you've just opted ice, to not have sandwich. breakfast. Yeah, you're having an ice cube sandwich. Yeah. An ice cube <laughs> sandwich. Having ice out of the fridge, putting it between, not even bread. Maybe you're just eating ice. You know what? Day old coffee. Day old coffee. <laughs> because of inflation, breakfast has been eliminated. We're just yeah, actually, that's correct. Gone. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> you can't afford breakfast because <laughs> the bread is seven dollars per, per loaf it's now. Seventy five dollars just for a small grocery bag, which doesn't exist anymore. You, you have bring to your own. Bring your own, and you forget. And then you ch- they charge you six dollars for a bag for, for a reusable one, which you never right. reuse. You always forget it, so you keep buying new ones. Before you know it, your cupboard is... It's a conspiracy. Your, your cupboard's bursting. Don't get me started on the reusable bags, okay. man. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, I your cupboard is just bursting with reusable bags. Plastic bags are reusable. You and can't you get rid of them. them. You no, can't you get rid of them. What do you do? So what do you do? You, you load up your trunk, and you just dump them in the river. <laughs> so, okay. <Do> you? <laughs> so for my most... You guys Can- don't do that? For my most Canadian routine... No, you dump them on your friends. I'm going to say... You burn them. You wake up late, um, and you skip breakfast. Mm-hmm. 
you hop in the car and you are probably listening some death metal because that's how you're feeling. <laughs> you're feeling like death metal in the morning because you're going to this job that you hate. <laughs> you, you know what? And for the people that do love their jobs, you know what? They're probably stopping at Tim's. Yeah, I mean, give me a Tim's. You know, yeah. grabbing a, yeah, yeah. you know, a nice coffee. Because you can afford that. I still love my job. Coffee. You know, the people that love their jobs. Good for you. Yep. Yeah. You know, most of us hate our jobs. Maybe maybe you got a streak on the Tim Hortons thing seven days in a row with the uh, the draft picks, and and you you won free coffee. <laughs> the Tim's week. hockey challenge. Yeah. Tim hockey's challenge. You got yeah, free I'm coffee. Joking. I've most got a people... I've got a bit of a different okay, uh, yeah, idea yeah, here. Do, what's do you got? Lay it on me. I just made mine up on the spot. This is for all of you, uh, summer fiends. Uh, Muskoka go getters. Okay. Little Canadian r- morning so routine Ontario, for you here. Folks, this is an Ontario routine. You wake up at the cottage. Oh. oh okay. See, I didn't know we were allowed to do this. Oh. You, you let the dog out. Dogs running down to the lake. You grab your fishing rod. I can smell. I can the, hear the, like you, someone firing up the boat from across the lake. Oh. Yeah, you, you hear the low rumble of someone firing up the boat. You hear the birds in the in the forest. Yeah. You grab your fishing rod. You head down to the dock. You just you're just casting. The dog's just chilling with you. You go back up after about 20 minutes. You you didn't get any bites, but that's not why you're down there for. You're just there to be with nature. You make yourself a coffee, and go enjoy the nice nice day on the dock. You can still you can, you can still smell the uh, <laughs> a little bit of smoke from the embers from the campfire the night before. Yeah. Like yeah. I was trying to do some loon calls. So the, the, now, now, the, now the waves from the boat are just. Yeah. Oh, the glass. Just see the glass. See, when you stop fishing, that's when the waves start to slowly come. But like when you're yeah. fishing in the morning, like just even off the dock, it's so that little pont- or not the pontoon, the little aluminum boat, with little the- fish boat. Yeah, mm-hmm. fishing boat. I'm just gonna recap Chip's actual morning routine here. Uh, <laughs> roll out of bed around eleven. <laughs> uh, uh, we, we, we've improved that. <laughs> you, you grab the phone, and and you're just gonna hop on there for a few minutes, check some stats, may, maybe maybe watch oh some TikToks. So for, for the next like uh, five or six hours, hours. just looking yeah. through the yeah. phone, <laughs> do absolutely nothing. You know that was that was my routine probably last year. Yeah. My my routine now has changed a little bit. That's good. That's good. We have a couple more people working for the team now, so I have nice. to. Uh, yeah. Delegate. Yeah, I'm probably hopping in the Discord now and oh. a little Discord office set up. So yes. Starts actually off with a team meeting. A little accountability when there's some people yes. like relying on you. Yes. <laughs> yes. It so, gives you a reason to get out of bed. Yeah, so I probably get out of bed at like nine thirty. Ooh. Which is good. Better For than the early riser. Yeah, what I'm saying <laughs> early riser. Sure. What I'm saying though is like when you are self employed and have no children. You do not need to wake up early because you can you can work until 1 a.m. if you want. Yes. And if that's your sort of natural clock, like people see, oh, you slept till 10. Well, you worked until 1 a.m. No one else is working until 1 a.m. Well, not a lot. Yeah, like I start work after the Leaf game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Technically work. I yeah. don't consider it work. You have, <laughs> you, you have segregated, like you work for five hours here, take a break, three hours there, yeah. take a break, another two hour hours. Hour and a half, two hours. Right? It might be midnight. You're like, let me just log an hour and a half of work here. Yeah, I like, and I do edit. Like, I don't know, I, yeah, I work at weird times. Like, I'm very, mm. like, I have, like, ADHD. Must I must have it, like. It, which is you only do stuff that you're interested in. Yeah. I've learned that. Like, if it's not interesting, yeah. I have a lot of difficulty that, doing it. Like, I, emails for me. Oh. I'm just not interested in it. No. So I don't do it. It's, and it just, like, piles up, and then I get anxiety. And that has do. always been my life. Uh, I, if I don't see an end result to what I'm doing, I'm just not going to do it. Right? So when, even when I was in school, I'm like, I just don't need to try that hard because I'm not – I'm not interested in going to university. Yeah. So I don't have to get 90s. I have to get 60s and 70s because that's all I need. Yeah. So it worked. Yeah, I've like been studying a little bit about the ADHD mind. My buddy has, and he's been actually relaying it to me. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is like you don't do stuff that doesn't interest you. That doesn't interest it you. Makes sense. But I think that's fairly normal for most people. But yeah. for maybe us, it's even more um, prominent. Yeah. Uh, What's mo- yours, Chair? Moving on to most Canadian routine and loosely basing this on how I feel it would be a very Canadian morning routine. Uh, you got to wake up somewhat early. You do have to wake up. You got to wake up <laughs> in the morning. Don't wake up. If, <laughs> if you wake There's a up, lot of Canadians out there. That's what happens every day. Yeah. If, if you wake up at 1 p.m. and it's not a morning routine. No. <laughs> you get up uh, right about sunrise where the air is still crisp. Mm-hmm. Right? And, and I would like to just go outside right away. Yes. Because it's cool, and that coldness wakes you up, especially if it's, like, the wintertime. Mm-hmm. doesn't matter, especially in the wintertime, because I feel 
there's a, a lack of sunlight. Yes, and you one of the be searching for sunlight. Yes, you, you told me that. And one of the best things you could do in the winter time when you don't really see much sun, and and this pairs well with the cold. You you get outside, you feel that coldness. That's going to kind of ooh, okay, wake up, mm-hmm. right, a little cold exposure, and then you look at the sky and you let some of that sunlight in, and that tells your brain, woohoo, cuckoo, cuckoo, time to wake up. Right? Yes. You don't know that groggy mood anymore. Okay, let's right. be real. What Canadian is waking up right out of bed in their PJs and standing on the back porch in the cold? This one. And looking at I did it. I did it. <laughs> this yeah. guy. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> you, you know how nice it is, I'm, I'm being 100% honest here, is that when you wake up, you don't look at your phone. You just wake up, take some deep breaths. And you go outside. Mm. You're seeing nature. You're hearing nature. You're feeling the fresh air. You're breathing it. And you just feel connected. And you, I just look to the woods. There's some woods in my backyard. Yeah. And, and I look at the sky. And I and for five, I just give myself five minutes just to kind of like, okay, I'm awake now. And I feel connected with nature because I've been outside. And I come back inside. You've inspired and, me. Thank Did you. that this morning. I, I would say something even better. I'm not much of a walking guy. Is if you, you wake up and you just go on a walk. Jared doesn't walk yeah. anywhere. He just runs. No, I yeah, hundred yeah. percent full marathon, full man. speed. I Jared waste knows one no time. speed. Yeah. I sprint. Yeah, no, I actually I, like more. I tan walks. this morning. Went immediately. I, I didn't look at my phone. Immediately went downstairs. Went onto the deck. Walked around the garden. My bare feet, like grounding yourself. Oh, your gra- bare, bare feet. Bare feet yeah. Because like you feel everything mm. on the bottom of your feet. Like Love you that. step on a rock, you're feeling it. Mm-hmm. Like back in the day, like it really. That's how you get grounded, right? Like it's. Literally. Literally. Yeah. Last, or two summers ago, that's I would walk out every morning barefoot and just go out to the garden, check on the plants, come back. Oh, in. Yeah. I, I, I bought a little scrubber brush uh, that sat outside my door, so I sprayed, if, washed my feet off. I could tell how Jared's morning went when I got in if his feet were black or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly it's like, all oh, Jared's feet are clean he's today. Been, he's, grounded. he's grounded today. Oh, he's not grounded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to my morning routine, so get outside. Maybe it's a walk. Maybe you're just five minutes. Feel the cold because it's colder in the morning. You want that cold to, to wake you up a little. Mm-hmm. And just to get a gauge on, you know, what you need to wear that day. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, come inside. You get your coffee. Hockey highlights. Mm. Run through the hockey mm. highlights. Okay. If it's a Canadian Catch morning. a late game you missed. The highlights of the game you couldn't watch last I night. I yeah. can't stand putting the TV on in the morning. Mm. My, oh. my dad will do it. And yeah. I just, I just don't, I just. Hate it actually. When you know I what? I don't like going on. The, like I don't watch much in the morning. Either. I just don't like because well because yeah. it's, it's it's the screen again. I'm, it's the, yeah. The I'm gonna be honest. The hockey highlights for me. It's on my phone. I'm just okay. I'm, I'm scrolling through. Mm-hmm. It's a few minutes. I want to see any awesome things that happened, and and then that's good. Like I'm trying to remember the last time I went on my phone with like right when I woke up. Like if I'm on the weekend, if it's the weekend and I wake strong end. If it's a strong end, go. then there I wake go. up. I'm not like I'm I'm I might make a coffee. I'm gonna like sit down and chill. Like, but I need like half an hour before I'm like even ready to look at my phone. Oh, the phone, Powerful. the phone. Powerful. I actually changed my settings to have a grayscale on. So, hey, hey, Hayden's done the same thing. So, and you can put like the white point. So it's like because it, it, you just don't want to be on your phone. It's just more boring. Yeah. yeah. Hayden says it's reduced his screen time by like twenty or thirty percent. I released yeah. mine by five hours yesterday. Ooh. Like, just not having... Because you're just not, like... It's more... You're just more likely to just not... Be, it's mm-hmm. boring. That's why I'm going to try like it. Light, the lights over month light you up. Yeah. Whereas when it's just like this... You, the white point's crazy because you turn it all the way down. It's literally like a dull... It's so dull. Yeah, yeah. It's like... It, it, the lights, like, it's like all these things that light you up. Mm-hmm. Whereas you get rid of all that and it's just like this grayscale and then the white point's gone. Crazy. You literally, it's like looking at, like, a piece of paper. Huh. It's actually crazy. Yeah, right. it does make it's just subconscious almost. And yeah, like it literally. The f- only thing I have it set is if I go to use my camera, I have it automatically turn off so I can see the color of what I'm recording. That's yeah, that's how do you do that? <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah, after I the need pod. to know because that's the only thing I'll have to switch it back. Yeah, and then I forgot to switch it back last night, so now it's yeah. not like. Or you can do like a triple tap of the power button to, sw- to switch right. between it. All right. Need, anyway, right. moving on here. Well, that most was Canadian morning routine: get outside, feel the fresh air, get a little cold, and uh, then watch some ho- coffee and. Hockey highlights. Love it. Give me that. All right. Stye, no stye, or puck daddy. This episode is brought to you by Muskoka Brewery Tread Lightly, one of the best light beers you can get crafted in the heart of Muskoka. I always have Tread Lightly and Hazed and Confused Mm. in the fridge. You know, either I'm going to be having it when the boys come over, right? I always got it on supply. I spare no expense. And actually, something that they just did, Muskoka Brewery, Mm Mm-hmm. 
So this used to be a premium beer. You pay. It you, still is, it, arguably. It, it's still a premium beer, but without the same premium price. Ooh. Yes. So they've dropped the price on the 24 pack. Mm-hmm. So now, if you want to uh, have a better tasting beer, you know, you grab the tread lightly and support local and support local. So if you're use, if you want the light lager and you're usually reaching for the other guys, nah, grab the tread lightly. Trust me, mm-hmm. it's a t- it's a tasty beer. And it's available in a new extra tall can. Oh, they got the big boys. They yeah. got every size you could ask for. Yeah. Go grab them from the local LCBO beer store, grocery stores, or from Muskoka Brewery online. Or go straight to the brewery if you're in the uh, Muskoka area. Yeah, right? there you go. That's even Swing better. Swing by. Make a day of it. <laughs> grab yourself a case. All right. Big thanks to Muskoka Brewery for sponsoring the pod. Let's get back to the episode. Stein, no styer, puck daddy. Ooh. I wrote these while we were doing Most Canadian. I'm being fully honest here. There is one that I had prepared, and that is because it is coming from a puck daddy named toby oh we got a write-in request toby he wants us to review his uh tape job Ooh, okay um i don't know if i want to show it i don't want to expose his name so i'm just going to play it for you guys here okay and we can describe it so the way that he described it to me is he made like a katana style like hand tape job yeah which is pretty neat okay let me hit play okay is this a coho stick yeah that's wild so that's style already (laughs) (laughs) Yes. So he's got like a katana oh, style. Oh, it's got a twist. So, so what he's done is a black knob. It's full width. Oh. Uh, then he's got that red kind of grip tape, that bubbly grip tape that you put down the yeah, grip tape. Grip, yeah. yeah. But every time he goes around the wide part of the stick, he twists it. And underneath, it reveals a white tape. So it's got this cool diamond pattern going up it. Yeah, right. which looks pretty cool. So far, I give that, like, for me, your, your knob job. <laughs> mm. it's like that's up to you however you want to do it. like tyler batuzzi didn't have any tape that's sty yeah it doesn't matter what you do up up there that's i think just it's sty regardless psychopathic <laughs> i i am a, a classic just tape the knob with some some white tape yep. yeah give a nice grip yeah. yeah and then but this is where it gets interesting the blade tape here this is crazy this is like this is, indy 500 yeah, stuff going this, on right i now. wouldn't be able to play with this what is he literally how? made like a black and white checkered flag on the blade i like so, so so this is like i'm just gonna say this is creativity <laughs> in terms <laughs> of functionality absolutely not no i could not use this <laughs> stick. Those, and it would take but forever the, but i'm gonna give a 10 out of 10 for creativity and i'm all for being creative and getting creative I yeah, am going. I can't use that. I'm going to guess that Toby is in his early teen years because this is exactly the type of thing that I would spend an entire week doing when I was like 14, 13 what or fourteen if, years what old. What if he's like thirty? Yeah, like, and that's fine. He too. looks a little older, it, to be honest. It's okay. I didn't look at his. He has a coho. Picture. Let's be honest. Well, I mean, what, what, when I was like fourteen, I think I I spent like a week. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely Ouch. older. He's definitely older. He's older. <laughs> he's definitely older. He's definitely older. All right. So, <laughs> sorry, Toby. <laughs> Just roll on. He is 45, 50 plus. <laughs> if what I got from that little Hold slight. <laughs> let, let, we didn't hear the video. We didn't hear the audio. Let me preface it with this then. Then he must be in a stage where he's just absolutely obsessed with hockey because I was the most obsessed when I was like between twelve to like. Or he likes 18. katanas and just. You know. you know what? He's got a. He found a hobby and he's just decor. He just. <laughs> it's creative. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm giving that a ten. I went through that yeah. stage. I just went through it when I was like younger, and he's going through it now. I took a stick, I sanded it down, I shaped it in different areas with sandpaper, I painted it myself, I finished it with like some shellac, I made my own custom hockey stick. Mm. Broke it the first game I used it. <laughs> of course. See, I knew it was going to be a little older just because the coho. I'm like, there's no way. This, there's no <laughs> I just thought he needed a cheap stick to. Yeah. Right? But... So uh, Chippy gives it a 10 on the style. No style. I give that a 10. Fuck daddy sure. rating. <laughs> and with that rating, Chippy has to actually bump out here, boys, on this oh, episode. Oh, Chippy's got to go. Personal training session. Oh. oh can miss that. I got to get big. Okay. All right. Strong. You go get big. But um, Summer hockey. Game three. Friday. Tonight. It's Friday. Let's go. Appreciate you, boys. Go. Have a good workout. Go get rip. Have a good rest of your episode. All right. Peace out. I'll fill in with all your answers from here on out. Um, All right, Jared. Next up here. I got to give it a rating. Um, Sty, no sty, puck daddy. Um, I I appreciate the effort and the dedication, so I will give it a sty. Give it a sty. I got to be honest. If I'm seeing that that, uh, blade tape job on the ice, it's no sty. Yes, that's what I'm saying. 
if I don't know the person, yeah. I would say. But knowing that you're a puck daddy already, but, I'm giving you sty. But then once you get to know that person, you see how much they love hockey and how much they care. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then it kind of is sty because it's like they're dedicated, you know? Mm-hmm. They took the extra 25 minutes to tape their yeah, like they, they're, they're, <laughs> yeah. I, I love the effort. Yeah. I love the passion. Now, is yeah. there a tape you can get that would create that checkered pattern without having to do it yourself? Like There, there would have to be a manufactured black white alternating th- it would be so hard to do yeah and yeah that, that's <laughs> tough it would have to be um like one of those blade tape things that you just stick on mm, like yeah a rubber one you could do because yeah, it's so impossible like every stick is slightly like t- different in shape and width right so it's hard to line it up perfectly there's lots of brands that have tried to do that type of thing yeah no like you know like the che- the checkered um or like the flame tape and stuff like that right right but it would change depending on your um, your stick width, right? To try to line up a perfect checkered pattern. You know what I mean? Right. It would it would mess you up. So I think it would be easy to do. All right, what's next? All right, this one, we've all been there. You're in line. It could be at the grocery store. It could be at the Service Ontario. Aimlessly going on your phone while waiting in line. Sty, it's, it's what else are you gonna do? Stand there and look at the back of the person's head in front of you? See, it, I think it's like you're just you're avoiding like interacting with anyone. Oh, you're gonna start talking to people. You're no, gonna do that. Like I, it's just like I like to take in the environment I'm in. Like yeah. if you're there for like like 45 minutes, okay, yeah, you're gonna just go on your phone here and there. But like if you're just waiting in line at the grocery store and like it's like a minute. You know, oh, like I'm like sorry. I'm gonna like take it in. I'm gonna like smile at some people. I, like... I apologize. When you said service Ontario, I instantly started at 45 minute wait yeah. time. So yeah. maybe that wasn't the best example. Yeah. <laughs> sure, uh, a short or like line, Starbucks. You a, know, a, like a short line. Put the phone away. Smile at some people. If there's a chance to, you know, make some brief conversation. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So I, I re- re- rewind. Or like, the... or like you're in line at uh, at a restaurant, like a fast food chain. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, you're on your phone. You're just, like, aimlessly there, clearly not doing anything. Mm. And then you, you're, you like, slow to get up and yeah, you know what? line. I'm going to have to say I, I will revert to no style, no style because how much better would this world be if everybody was just there and present and aware of each other? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Right. Okay. But yeah, it, it is style, though, at the service of Ontario because what else are you going to do? I agree. It's, at <laughs> times, people just don't want to be bothered. Just yeah. like, I'm going to look at my phone. You look at yours. Like, yeah. Because – before phones, what were there? There's magazines, right? You in long line. There's some magazines available. You'd grab the newspaper. Mm-hmm. People would just keep to themselves while distracting themselves with the newspaper. Right now, you just read the news on your phone. Yeah, that's true. Or whatever. Or else. you get distracted by the algorithm and yeah. end up watching uh, cat videos and uh, dogs getting married mm-hmm. and you name it. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Next up here, this one: sty or no sty? Just slot machines i'm gonna have to say no sty i can't stand them yeah like it's just you're you're just throwing money away and there's not even any like like to me it's not fun Mm. there's no like gamesmanship you're not learning a new style of game like you're not learning the rules of a game and you don't have any chance of even enjoying it like if i if i lose a hundred dollars playing poker for example at least i'm like hey i played poker you had a hand i interacted with some people there was like you made some decisions. There was some like yeah. element of like if I didn't do well, it was somewhat my result, like yeah. my responsibility or whatever. Whereas like slot machine, it's just like eh, you're just sitting there. I I did play one in. I, I'm not really a slot machine guy. I've but tried it. But I, I, I was in Vegas like with Sammy, and she's like, "Oh, let's try this one." Mm-hmm. So I put in like a ticket for like five bucks or something like that, and um, I made it fun. There was there, there was a little dancing Buddha guy and. <laughs> His little golden pots had to line up, and then we got them all to line up, and then he started doing little dances, and I'm like, oh, yeah, let's go, Buddha. Let, let me make the Buddha dance. You yeah. know, I'm, all the lights are going off. I'm sitting there dancing with the Buddha man. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's, so so it, it, it was an experience because we won, like, I put in five and won, like, 40 bucks or something. Like, yeah, we're up. All right. Right. Right? But I would say slot machines are pretty no sty. It's, it's basically just a way – for casinos to extract money from you and to out to, to scientifically find the best way to take the most money amount of money from away from people yeah it's gambling and gambling is not really that style to be honest yeah yeah 
That's fair. And our sponsor of this podcast. <laughs> hey, we never know. <laughs> Well, um, for for the record, I avoided any like I got approached from gambling companies for the longest time, from when I started making videos to like basically last year, mm-hmm. and I would always say no. I said always said no to alcohol and gambling. Eventually, I said yes to uh, Muskoka Brewery because I'm like I like beer, local uh, beer, great, right, right. I'm like I don't mind like you know you can I I, I enjoy beer responsibly. Um, so I was like whatever, I won't do any hard liquor. Uh, yeah, although I did do Crown Royal. Oh, yeah, I remember. I helped you with that one. Yeah, you were but, on vacation again or something. Uh, I guess they, they broke down my walls eventually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, moral compass, compass is janky. Well, it's uh, like you waited for the rest of the temple to fall before you joined in, you know? Like, you weren't going to pioneer. No. The... <laughs> well, I just, I didn't want to, like, I think when I was younger, I had a lot more younger fans. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't want to, like, promote alcohol and gambling to kids. And now that I'm older, I have a lot of hockey dads that follow and stuff like that. You know what right. I mean? Like an older audience. So I'm like, it's not that bad. And also once gambling got legalized in Canada. In Ontario In Ontario. And yeah. I was like, all right, there's like, there, there's, there's an opportunity here. Um, and as long as I do it in a tasteful way. Yeah. Right? Not really like, it's, it's my decision how I create the ads and stuff like that for yeah. the most part. So. Oh, I'm not guilt tripping you here. Get you. Get that money back. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I want to raise. Take on more. Yeah. Is there any other gambling companies that want to sponsor? Uh, no. I, I agree to one. So I, I work with, uh, I was going to say Johnny. <laughs> Betway. Yeah. Yeah, Betway is the one. And, and I still get approached by like every month, tons of gambling stuff. Nope. I got one. Just one. Yeah. And that's fair. All right. Next up. Sty, no sty, or puck daddy. The rat tail. <laughs> that's... <laughs> It's got to be no style. <laughs> yeah, I you know I had one in grade I one. I really wanted Chippy to be here for this one. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. I had the rat tail. We, we'll redo it. We'll get his opinion next we'll week. We'll do it again next yeah. week. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the rat tail, I, I did I did rock one a little bit in grade one. I, ha- I There were some other kids that had like real nasty ones. And I was like, <laughs> man, the rat tail is dirty. Like dirty in a bad way. Right? <laughs> so. It's just kind of, it looks like. Almost like it's just already dirty. Like <laughs> yes, I don't think the rat tail ever really had its, its you know time to shine. Time, yeah. No one ever like the mullet had its time, went away, coming back. Mm-hmm. But no one's really requesting the rat tail at the barber shop. Yeah, I don't think. See, one of the ones that uh, Chippy and I did while you were away was, um, like the team playoff haircuts. Oh, yeah. So if it was a team thing and you got team rat tails, then it's sty. Then it would be hilarious. Yeah, and it's just funny, and it's a sty. It's yeah. sty for sure. Wives would be infuriated. Well, no, we're talking like kids, like the playoff. Uh... I'm talking men's. <laughs> men's league. Let's, <laughs> let's all go grab some rat tails. Oh, man. For the playoffs for the three days that we have in playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for kids, yeah. Three days. You're, you're optimistic. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, yeah. So rat tail in general, no sty. Yeah. Um, maybe you'll come back though. You never know. If you uh, are anyone, any puck daddies out there rocking the rat tail, sorry, but you never know. It might be back in style. Just rock it long enough. You know what? Whatever you do, you just got to do it with confidence and that makes it style. You can mm. do, you can do anything as long as you do it confidently. Yeah. It does add a lot of. Got to have that swagger. What do they call it? Riz. Yeah. The riz. riz. <laughs> That's the riz. Just yeah. do it with confidence. Mm-hmm. All right. Next up here. Sty, no sty, showing up to men's league when you can't play just to coach or, like, bring the guys beers or. I'd say it's a sty move. It, it's showing that you're for the, for the boys. It's uh, giving you a chance to get away from, you know, you're being consistent. You were going to go anyways. Mm-hmm. Might as well go and hang out and, uh, you know, have have that you time. Have the, the special time with the guys. And you know what? If you're injured or for whatever reason you can't play, you can still hop in the team showers. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, you know, unless it's a bodily uh, cut or something, or you're sick. I'd say yeah, you don't want to cough all over the guys if you're sick. Yeah, but then you probably shouldn't show up if if you have a communicable disease. Yeah, you don't want to hang around the guys. Then they're all sick the next week, and you show up. Yeah, and help. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. Yeah, but I'm saying like if you hurt your leg, mm-hmm. right? If you can't, you got a, a bit of a limp, so you can't play. You can still hop in the team shower. Yeah, definitely that yeah. style. So follow up to that. If uh, you're a men's league and uh, you're a healthy scratch, but you show up anyway, 
<laughs> is that Styrenos? Why would you ever be a healthy scratch in men's league? Like when there's too much guys, you know, too many like, guys. like there's too many guys. Who are like, hey, don't come tonight. Like we don't need, we don't, we don't need. Like we got too many guys coming up. But you show up anyway without gear. Like you're just at, there. At that point, <laughs> it's kind of your cue just to drop down to a different league. Right, like it's if that's the boys are saying like, yeah, not tonight, but we got too many players, <laughs> and they picked you to be the one not to come. Right, it's kind of your sign. Be like, you know what? Maybe an any a little bit of a lower, uh, less competitive. And if you're already in the least competitive division, maybe just you, you gotta hit the stats and pickup hockey for a while. You gotta hit some practice. You gotta go some more pickup hockey. You gotta yeah. go home work on your wrist shot. You gotta study some game tape. We're gonna watch the pros model your game after. Get discovered uh, by someone at pickup hockey that appreciates you for who you are. Oh, you just gotta you gotta improve <laughs> your game. You just gotta be a better player. You gotta be better for the team. Well, that's what I mean. If you're going to redevelop, like rediscover your game in pickup hockey, mm. eventually someone will notice that and be like, "Hey, we need a sp- we need- we're short guys for our men's league," and then you can get in on a different. Oh, team. Yeah, I mean, I thought you were staying on the team. Right? Oh like, no, no, no! Like, like if you're already at the lowest level, or mm-hmm. or there is no level to go to. Yeah, that's your team. Then you got to step your game up. You got to improve yourself. You gotta, right. You know what I mean? Yes, that's fair. Or earn your spot. Yeah. So the guy, yeah. Or or just bring water bottles and extra Old Spice body wash for the boys. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, last one here. And I'm curious if uh, you're going to be doing this this year or not. Sty, no sty, or puck daddy. Playoff beards. Oh. I mean, you got to go puck daddy. That's just. That, that, that it's it that's it i mean for the nhl guys obviously it's it's a puck daddy move yes some people argue that for fans it's a bit no style because like you're not playing in the playoffs right but it's just fun like have a little fun you know like steve dangle yeah doing, like, doing playoff beard i think that's style. rock the playoff beard why not i don't know if i'd go like puck daddy though I'd, i'm going style. Because it's like, hey, you love your team that much. You're gonna do that. You're you're yes. like you feel like you're connected with that. You gotta be one of the boys. Yeah, okay, cool. I, I'm calling it the playoff beard. Mm-hmm. It's an institution. It's you know what I mean. Like it's, right. it's just such a, a, an ingrained part of hockey. Yeah, that it is puck daddy. But then if we boil it down, we're going nuanced here. The fan playoff beard is not. It's it's sty. Right. You know what I mean? You, yeah, you know what okay, I'm saying yeah. here? That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. If, if I'm nuanced. If you're on the own, team. Yes. Puck daddy. Just the NHL guys, the whole idea, the, the playoff beard, watching each guy that can and can't grow it. Yes. The rookies <laughs> that don't have much. The You know what I mean? Get the scruff going. That whole thing is just. Patchy beard. It's yeah. awesome. It's, yeah. a, it's amazing. It's a part of the game. There's a whole subcategory in uh, Chell where you can pick the beards, and there's literally like, <laughs> oh patchy God. as an option. <laughs> yes. Uh, if yeah. you're a fan going to grow- play off beard, I think that's still cool. That's still fun. You're getting, you know, you're you're participating. Yeah. Right? And I, I love it. So I, I give that a sty. Love it. All right. That concludes sty, no sty, or puck daddy. We're moving on to the draft. And this draft is brought to you by Muskoka Brewery. Go grab yourself some local brews from the LCBO beer store, grocery store, tread lightly, or if you're into non-alcoholic stuff like Chippy, grab yourself some Veer. The Veer, it was delicious. We tried it. Yeah, we got some in the office here, and we've been uh, sipping on it, uh, trying to savor it because it's that good. I think it's a great option. Um, If you normally have a beer every day, you want to cut back, Mm -hmm. grab a Veer. Mix in a few veers to you know reduce the amount of alcohol you're taking. Promote a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, it's it's a nice uh, sort of transition. Yeah. So thank you to Muskoka Brewery for uh, sponsoring this draft. Thank you. And we are going to be drafting the best breakfast foods. Brought to you by Muskoka Brewery. Um, is it you and me going? Or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, Chip will sit Chip, this one out. Chip, Chip can not. judge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't have a pen here. You can have a pen hang- banging around here. Oh, uh, I, I don't like writing it on my phone because it looks like I'm just playing on my phone the whole time. But I can. It's it's fine. Okay, you can do that. I'm, I'm, I have faith in you. I'm going on my phone. The most Canadian breakfast. Not foods. most Canadian. Oh, sorry, just, not the most Canadian. Just, just the best breakfast, best, breakfast best breakfast foods. Drafting breakfast foods. Let's go rock paper scissors. Right. Rock paper scissors. Oh, you snipped my paper. All right, I get to you go first. Snip my paper. And if you don't pick this one, then you're just missing on, like, the fundamental of, like, every culture's breakfast pretty much has this, unless you're vegan. 
and that's eggs. You nailed it, but you are also wrong. No, no, you need eggs. No, you are wrong. Like, I'm not even a big egg guy, and you can't not pick eggs first. Yeah, I, I 100% agree with you. Where you went wrong is every culture's. Yeah, I guess that's fair, yeah. I Basically, North America is the only country that really does, well, not the only, but one of the only countries that really does breakfast. Breakfast was invented by marketing teams mm. to try to sell you different types of foods. Right. The idea of cereal, bacon, eggs, breakfast, like eggs were pushed by the egg committee mm. to try to sell more eggs. For farmers and stuff. And, and milk, same thing. Right. The Milk Farmers Association of America. I know about which, milk. Yeah, right? Yeah. It was all just It's big. like subsidized by the government. Yeah. And and it was all a huge marketing push in like the 60s to get people to sell more product. So you go to, say, Costa Rica, right. where I just was, beans and rice. Right. There's a, that's their breakfast food. You go to most Asian countries, mm. same thing. When I was in Hong Kong doing a uh, hockey camp there, and, and also China, which is kind of the same thing, a little bit different, but whatever, right? We're getting dumplings for breakfast. Okay, so Jeremy's pick, it's dumplings. Dumplings is my... No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, know. I, I thought it was wild because I didn't know that until I traveled that they just eat dinner for breakfast. I was in Malaysia. Same thing. They just The same thing they had for dinner, they eat for it breakfast. It makes sense if it's healthy for dinner. Why wouldn't it be healthy for breakfast? It's, it's food. It's food, right? They're, they're eating food for but breakfast. But when I think breakfast, I think eggs. Um, or yeah, yes. You know? Eggs. Like there's so many different styles of eggs that you can make it with almost any type of breakfast. Eggs 100% is the number one pick. There's no doubt about it. Uh... Number two, I'm just going to take bacon. Mm. It's, it's like, it's bacon and eggs, isn't it? Arguably the most tasty part of breakfast. It's like. If you're having like a classic Canadian type breakfast. You, you fry up that bacon, you know you're having breakfast. Yeah. You can put that on your toast. You can eat it with your eggs. There's, you know, it, it goes, it pairs well. It's a really good team player. Right. Bacon is kind of a playmaker out here. Yeah, yeah, I, I could give you that. Yeah, that's for sure. All right. Second pick for me. I'm going just simple here, toast. Ah, like, like yeah. you. I mean, I could go like bagel, but like toast is basically a bagel anyway. You know, like I, I'd say toast is kind of like a third line player. Like, they're not a star, but but they're a part of the team, and the team does need them. Kind of like a glue guy. Toast is a second line center. He's the playmaker. You think so? He's the glue that holds that line together. I mean, no one's really looking forward to the toast. We don't need any certain type of toast. Hey, here. if I got eggs and toast, I'm a happy man, <laughs> especially on after a night of drinking. Eggs on toast. All right, all right. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go for my second pick. Give me something a little more uh, wholesome. You know, we need a guy that can really fill you up, and um, I'm going with the, the home fries. Mm. Right? We need some, like, potatoes, hash brown. I, I don't know if these are all the same things, but it's, like, the potatoes. So I'll, I'll go home fries. I'll go home fries. Well, home fries are different than hash That's true. Or, or um yeah, what's the, I know what you're saying, though, because there's, like, actual potatoes, like, home style. Yeah, I'll go home fries. Okay, home fries. Home fries, home fries that's a good pick. Uh, third for me, you got to get some fruit in you. Oh. So, like, I'm just going, like, the fruit bowl. Oh, okay. Like, it's like the, it's like a, not a fruit salad, but it's like you got the strawberries, the I know, I, pineapple. Like, I it's would, like the continental breakfast, you I know? would say the fruit bowl does not get a lot of ice time, but it should. It deserves way more. Like for the breakfast, it, everything greasy gets the the spotlight. Mm-hmm. But no, nope, not for me. For me, if you had, a, if I had a fruit bowl every morning, first star, first star every game. Yeah, it's the most flavorful way to start your day too. Just, oh, it's it's great for you. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't doesn't get enough ice time. That's that's my problem. Uh, so I got bacon. I got the home fries. I'm gonna go with something a little different here. Give me the OJ. Right. Oh, the orange juice. OJ, I mean, I don't even think drinks. It's it's a Bevies? breakfast food. You know, typically you got that OJ. You're gonna have it in the morning. Right. We can go. Bre- we can I, go beverages. No. Yeah, I guess so. It's it's yeah. It, you're not eating the orange. You're drinking it. Still. Yeah, I, I guess I got to give it to you because if you're opening up that door, then my fourth pick is it fourth pick already? Yeah. We're flying through this. My fourth pick. If we're opening up bevies yeah. for the breakfast, I'm going coffee. I'm already writing it down. <laughs> like Jer opens the door. I'm yeah. not going to say no. Uh, now, I'm taking coffee, baby. T- coffee is a great pick. I I just thought as far as like breakfast foods, OJ is a bit more nutritious. More, more people have coffee in 100%. the morning than eat breakfast. So 100%. you can't say it's not the b- biggest like 100%. breakfast food. 100%. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh for for my fourth pick, I'm just gonna and and I think this slid quite a bit. We got a little caught up with some other items, mm-hmm. but I'm taking cereal. I see. I thought about cereal, but like to me, that's like that's the kids' breakfast, you know. 
Like it's like the parents are like, here, have have some of this, have some uh, mini wheats. So then it's a it's no. a rookie, but like every everyone started with that cereal. Yeah, that's Cere- fair. like nobody did not have cereal. Mm. Right? It's it's a star. Yeah, star. That's for sure. All right, now there are tons of options here for my last pick, and there's a, there's two that I'm arguing between, and there's one that I know more people would say, but I'm going with one that I enjoy most and has more wi- more variation in how you can make it almost more flavor, and I'm going with French toast. Oh, love it. Love it. Yeah, I love myself some French toast more than the other thing you might be thinking of right now because once i say that you know what the alternative is yeah but i'm going french toast for my last pick yeah we're, we're leaving a lot on the board here there's always there's well, we, you we could have done all three of us but chippy had to leave so right, that's true that's true yeah uh it is a tough pick for me i've already got bacon i kind of want to take the sausage i thought about sausage right? yeah i actually have no meats on mine but i got enough protein with the eggs no, for sure and you took the french toast I think a real crowd pleaser here would be the pancakes. That's what I was. But that would be a default for me if I were you. Well, you know what? It's my team. It's my team. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna draft the crepes. I'm drafting crepes. Oh, I'm taking crepes over pancakes. He just lost the draft, everyone. Ah! I crepes are just like thin, flavorless but things. It's about everything you put in it. It's a vessel, exactly. So that opens me up to way more than. But like, I guess you can put the fruit on the pancakes too, no? Yeah, like my my fruit bowl completes your crepe pretty much. Fair, Without fair. the fruit bowl, your crepe I, is nothing. I'm just a big crepe guy, right? So I'm taking crepes over pancakes. I'll give it to you. Pancakes, you know what happens? I, I don't like them because you put the syrup on them. They suck up all the syrup. Then you got to put more syrup on them, right? And you know that, what? I respect you for picking crepes instead of pancakes. It's because yeah. pancakes are like literally just like cake it's it's crepes it, are they feel a little better and and, yeah. and then they become a syrup sponge mm-hmm. and, and then you just got too much carbs and sugar to start your day yeah right that's fair so i'm taking the crepes all right i, I respect it i'm not sure i would have went there i feel like a lot of uh, it, canadians and americans are going to be uh in disbelief by that pick but it's the coach's you decision do you here. the coach's decision here there'd be oh. a coach's challenge on that one <laughs> yeah. all right so let's go over it hayden with eggs toast Fruit bowl, coffee, and French toast. That's a win, right? Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. (laughs) And then I've got bacon, home fries, OJ, cereal, and crepes. Both pretty well-rounded, I would say. Like, you got a little bit of everything. The only thing that I wish I picked was uh, meat. Mm. But for me, I get most of my proteins, like, for lunch and dinner. Like, I'm not even a big breakfast guy. When I do have breakfast, it's usually, like, once I'm, like, in a blue moon. Yes. Here's my challenge to the listeners. Give me some alternative breakfast options because I've been wanting to get away from like the fried stuff, the carbs. Mm -hmm. I just bought a bag of chickpeas and lentils and I'm like, what if I just eat? What do I do with these? What what if I eat (laughs) chickpeas for breakfast? Like lots of fiber, lots of protein. Give me something else. My my buddy, Andrew, he's a vegan Mm -hmm. uh, and he just eats a sweet potato for breakfast. So he'll heat it up in the microwave sometimes, he says, or he'll, he'll cook it the night before. And he just downs a sweet potato. I know, Andrew. He's a holistic health Oh, psycho. is he ever. Is he ever. So, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm trying to discover new breakfast ideas. If I was a vegetarian or a vegan or something, what would I be eating? All right, give me something healthy to start my day with. I have a question for you. Yeah. You just asked the listeners, mm-hmm. but I have a question for you. Okay. Are you even hungry in the morning? Like, I'm never hungry in the morning. <sighs> no, I, I, I'm, I just eat in the morning so I don't get hungry later. Right. Like for me, I don't get hungry until like at the earliest, like 12 o'clock, one. I, I also find that if I don't continually eat, then I start losing, like, I start to look sickly. Mm. You know, like if I don't I, have that problem. No, yeah. if, if I skip, <laughs> if I skip breakfast, then I get too busy working and then I don't eat my lunch either. Right. And then the kids come home and I'm busy. So then I only really eat dinner and I'm absolutely starving. Right. So I just try to jam food in my mouth any chance i get you need to look up like a grazing diet that's basically what i do <laughs> yeah every time i go like inside you need a morning f- grazing food a lunch grazing food and yeah. then you can have dinner <laughs> yeah. so it's pretty much every time i go inside i'm grabbing a banana i'm grabbing an apple i'm right. grabbing a handful of like walnuts or pecans or like i have all these nuts on the um thing before i come outside i love my nuts yeah i love my nuts <laughs> Slap, slap, chop. <laughs> uh, the deep reference there. If yeah. anyone knows that, God. So I, I try to grab help. Like I'll grab an avocado. Like I'll go inside, mm-hmm. um, grab a drink of water, and then I take a cucumber. I split it in half, and I just down like half a cucumber. <laughs> True farmer. Yeah, 
or just, like a, just snacking on whatever's available. I'll, I'll, I'll munch a carrot. Do you, you ever know? eat raw corn? It's not that great, but yeah, I have. it tastes the same. It's just not very. Uh, uh, it's, it's nicer. It pops a little better. Well, no, it is poppy, but I, it, the flavor is a little more like uh, chalky or pasty. If you eat it right off the cob raw, if you clean it, it still tastes good. Though. Oh, I know it's, it's very sweet. It's very yeah. sweet, mm-hmm. and and yeah, especially like farmers court, like not from the grocery store. Like you no, gotta, no, you got to rip it right off the stock. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, let us know draft in the comments who won that draft, and maybe try. This will be fun. Actually, try to predict what Chippy's picks would have been, knowing that he would have went after both of us each time. I want to see what you guys think he would have picked. Like, although he probably would have won rock, paper, scissors, but let's... <laughs> I think he would have gone, like, a, with his, he would have tossed a smoothie in there, maybe. Oh, he would have went all health nut on us. He would have been like, I'm not even eating breakfast, but I guess I'll go protein shake. <laughs> yeah, he would, he would have done, like, a... Let's breakfast. not give away too much. Let us know what you think Chippy's picks would have been. We'll ask him next week Yeah. and see if you guys are right. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, if you didn't already hear on the last episode, go and join the bracket challenge for the NHL and ESPN. If you go to our website, there's a little link at the top for more. And there's some uh, quick links on our whatever page there that has the direct link to join our page for it. And if you win, we'll give you some merch. Yeah, that's good incentive. Good luck. Cause yeah. uh, it's going to be me. One. <laughs> yeah. Jer wins every year. He rigs it. He puts like 17 entries in. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every possible outcome. Yeah. <laughs> How many entries would that be? I don't even know. It'd be a lot, yeah. I don't think it's possible. No. All right, thanks a lot for uh, tuning in, everyone, and we will see you all next week. Playoffs, baby! Woo! Let's gonna go. change the world with my hockey stick. Gonna make a real difference. Feed the poor and heal the sick. Oh,